say good morning. You see that sun shining on your face, son? Say good morning. <laughs> no? Good morning, y'all. So, I'm about to do some little bit of organizing and cleaning Bray Bray's room. Oh, of course my phone is on the 10%. I got to get my other phone. Say hello. Say good morning. So, Brilla now know how to sit up by himself. So, he been sitting up in his bed and playing and pulling and sitting on the floor and playing. So, now I got to clean up his room because he wants to play all day. Braylon, mommy's gonna go get the other phone in the charger. I'll be right back. The people on Facebook gonna watch you. So earlier this morning, I was up and I was working out. I went to the grocery store and Braylon was not feeling well. He's having like a loose stomach. Um, I think it's because we took him off one of his meds this week. So um, he's, he's acting a little bit better, but his stomach is a little loose. So Braylon, you going to watch me clean your room? Just gonna watch the uh, the ring light. You gonna watch the ring light watch you? Hmm? So I'm gonna be over here organizing that bookshelf and all his toys and stuff. And Braylon, he just wants to stare at this little ring light. You gonna say good morning? Say hello. Say hi. Say yes, yes, yes. You gonna tell him yes, yes, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Are you gonna say no, no, no? Not in the mood? He's not in the mood to talk to y'all. He just wanna stare. He just gonna look at them? Look at them and play? I'll talk to them then, Braylon. So, um, I plan on actually making a video for Braylon's YouTube. It's gonna be like a trick safety video, like once you get home, um, the important things. So, um, I'm going to do that video this weekend or probably um, today. I don't know. It just depends on how much time we have. But, ooh, yeah, the trick safety video is basically going to talk about all the stuff that you need at home if you have a baby who is straight or G2 on event. Um, you know, it's going to talk about, like, um, what precautions you should take, like, making sure you keep a clear walkway. Like, in my house, I make sure that I always have a clear walkway. Let me see. A clear walkway from Braylon's room to the door because see like if something happened to Braylon and like the ambulance need to come in here and the police this needs to be a clear walkway like they need to be able to go directly to Braylon's room so that's one of the most important things about having a baby who is on a vent and who is G2 because you want to make sure you take every safety precaution with them um, it's also important to have like cameras, stuff that you will have for a baby who's not tricked and vent. Um, cause if my baby wasn't tricked and vent, I still would have cameras in his room. Um, you want to make sure you have cameras. You want to make sure you have a fire extinguisher. You want to make sure that you have smoke detectors and that all the smoke detectors work and, um, a carbon dioxide, um, detector, but we don't have that, but that's important to have as well, especially with, um, having oxygen in the house. Ooh. So, but I'm gonna do a whole video about it. You won't be seen, but you don't want to talk. He don't want to talk, but he wants to be seen. You don't want to sign. You want to tell nobody hello, goodbye, thank you, see you later. You just want to eat your toys, and that's fine, baby. That's fine. Um, and also I'm gonna do like an organization video about like how I keep Braylon's room organized. I literally clean Braylon's room every day. I clean Braylon's room every day because that's just the type of person I am. Shoot, I clean my house every day. I'm a, a, a neat freak. I like to clean. 
wipe down everything dust so i try to keep it nice and clean and plus brandon literally makes a mess every day like he pulls his feet out and slings it around if i'm not watching him and he literally gets it all over the walls he gets it all over his crib all over himself so um yeah i'm gonna do like a trick safety video a video about like disinfecting and cleaning how you should really all his stuff like his ventilator his suction machine everything that's touched on a daily basis i make sure it's wiped down every day with disinfectant wipes or a disinfectant spray and a, like a, a cloth so Brandon, are you going to get on the floor and watch your mama clean you want to get on the floor and watch me clean your room huh lift up the eyebrow you see a toy Come on, let's get down and play with it. Let's get down on the floor. I don't know if he wants to sit on the floor. You got a little diaper rash. His little butt butt was hurting. Say good morning, everybody. Say good morning, family and friends. Come on, let's get up. So when I disconnect Braylon, I like to shake it to make sure there's no water in there because if water gets inside his tree, it can get inside his lungs. And y'all know what happens when water gets inside your lungs. You drown. So to prevent Braylon from drowning, I every time I um, break his circuit, I check it and I dump the water. And consistently, I always is ch am checking his circuit. And you can hear like at nighttime when we're sleeping. We can actually hear when water builds up in the circuit because it'll make like a rumbling sound. And then you can actually, when I go to sleep, I'm listening to Braylon's breathing. I listen to Braylon's breathing as I'm sleeping. So if you can, you can really hear like the change in his breathing pattern. Um, you can just listen to how the ventilator sounds. And you can just hear changes and it kind of lets you know that water is in the circuit or in the ventilator. And you got to dump the water out or change the circuit if it's just too much water. Um, to make sure that the water does not get see and there's more water right now and I just dumped the water there's more water in his circuit so you just gotta make sure that you take it Ooh, are you passing gas it's in this white circuit I don't know if y'all can see but it's water right here so you want to make sure it don't get to him so what I do is I just break the circuit when you pop it off that's called breaking a circuit sorry Braylon Right? And every time I pop Braylon off, I let him know, you know, I'm popping it off and that I'm sorry because it is a loud, irritating noise. So you just want to make sure that he knows what's going on. Right, butt butts? Right? Come on, let's go. Let's get up. You just looking? You just looking at the light? Mm -hmm. I love you. Look, look, say good morning. You don't want to say good morning? You smell so good. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, you... Oh, you smell... Mm, mm. You smell so good. Come on, let's get down. You okay? No, no, no. You're going to sit up like a big boy. No laying down. You lay down all night. Where's your black and white pillow? Yeah, let me get your pillow. There's no laying down. Sitting up. How about that? Oh! Brother, we almost knocked down your camera, son. Back it up to it. How about that, son? Is that better? I'll sit next to you. 
so when I sit really on the floor, I always make sure that I put a pillow behind him because even though he can sit up unassisted now, um, it's times where Brilli may get tired and he may throw himself backwards. Yes, you do. You always do it. So, um, he has a little diaper rash, um, and I don't think he's going to really want to sit up as much as he's been sitting up for the past five days. Um, usually, if Braylon is not sleeping, Braylon is up in some way, shape, or form. Um, Braylon has a bumbo seat, he has a recliner, he has a high chair, he has a crib, and then he'll either come in the bedroom with me or the living room with me, and he'll sit on my lap, you know, he likes to sit on the floor. So he, we like to, um, kind of like change him from one seat to the next, um, let's say, Braylon's schedule, he wakes up at 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. he gets medicine and he gets a feed. So um, after I give him his medicine, if he's awake, I'm going to get him up. Like, I'm going to get him up, put him in his high chair, and give him his feed. Um, it's important for him to be sitting up while receiving a feed because Braylon does have reflux and sometimes he may aspirate. And we don't want him to aspirate because that could also cause, cause him to get pneumonia. If he aspirates and the throw up goes back down into his lungs, that can cause pneumonia so we always make sure that he's upright or that he's um what's the word i'm looking for upright or propped up just in case um you know for that and we also check Braylon's cuff well i know i do i check Braylon's cuff just to make sure it has the amount of water that it's supposed to have in there right oh kiss on the back of that head for good luck boy the back of that neck <laughs> so yeah um what you want me to stop kissing you in front of everybody you don't like the kisses you don't like the kisses to your mama let me see your back room. oh you're good you're good you're good he must have been passing gas that feels good say hello world no a back rub doesn't feel good to that baby that doesn't feel good to him? No, that doesn't feel good. You don't like that? Hmm? You have gas. I can feel it. Let it out. Let's do some chest PT. Come on. Why is your thing not reading and I have it plugged in? There we go. Come on, let's get on your tummy. Now, Braylon has been able to withstand um, tummy time longer and doing like some hands and knees stuff. Every morning when he gets up, he gets this. Gets it before he go to bed. He gets it throughout the day because it helps move any mucus secretions around. That's in his lung. It helps bring it up. And then when I suction him, it comes out. Or if there's nothing, then there's nothing, which is good. But Re Braylon requires this several times a day. It's called chest PT. So I give it to him whenever he needs it. Um, most of the time, I give it to him with each albuterol treatment. Um, and when he wakes up and before he goes to sleep. And then he gets it throughout the day. You know, sometimes just to calm him. He gets in the middle of the night. But it's something that he needs. You want the front now? Scratch yourself. You gotta be gentle on that baby. You gotta be gentle on that boy. You gotta be gentle with yourself, okay? All right, you wanna stand up? What? You sound like you need a suction. I have to suction you, okay? I have to suction you. I have to suction you. I have to suction you, Braylon. No, 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 no. I have to suction you. You hear that thing beeping? Let your mama suction you. Hold up. So the other day, Brylon was not feeling well, and we actually changed his trach out. 
and we heard Breland cry for the first time in a long time. To actually hear him cry was like one of the most beautiful sounds ever um, because we hadn't heard him. And he took like a deep breath and it was like a loud cry. Like his lungs are growing and getting stronger. No, no, no. I gotta put this around your foot. I got to. Come on, let's sit up. You pee pee? No, 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 no laziness is tolerated. Not even from the baby. I feel like Thursday is your designated lazy day. Look, look in the big bag of toys. There you go, hold on to it. Look, what's in here? Really trying to teach him how to stand and um, hold on to stuff. So I got this and I thought he would probably want to dig in there while I help him stand. Come on, stand up like a big boy. Hey, hey, boy, just. Yeah, he just want to love on me because he don't want to do no work. If I was to cut this video off and stop doing work with him, he would be happy, happy, happy and want to play, play, play. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Get it out there. That's probably too heavy for you. You want this? Let me do this. We can put it on the side. You got so much stuff in here. Look. An L. An L for love. Love your mama. You want to sit down? You want to sit down on your mama? You on a lazy, lazy day. Shaking that body? You tired? Y'all don't think Braylon's feeling well because he's so sleepy and he just woke up. And he's trying to go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. You alright? Mm -hmm. You want your car? What? You see the bird outside on top of the house? There you go. That gets you happy. Down and up. I'm right here. I'm going to be cleaning up over here. Is that okay with you? Everybody can see Braylon, okay? Braylon, everybody can see you. Everyone's gonna watch you. They're gonna watch you while I clean up. They gonna babysit you. <laughs> Is that okay? If they babysit you, Braylon? Look, you wanna bang both of these cups together for your mama? Yeah. You want that one too? Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Brilliant's hand eye coordination to the fact that he can watch me bang two items together, take them from me, and repeat what I just did. And then now he's watching me do it with these, he's watching me when I do it, and then he'll do it with his. Do you want the bigger one? Big boy Brilliant? Ooh, you want the bigger one? You want the blue one? Get it. Get it. Get it. Can you see this one? You gonna put it on your mouth and hit it? No, that sounds like it hurt. I love your lashes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> with three, with four. Hit mama one. Hit mama one. You just gonna bite it. You want that one? <laughs> it's okay, but you can do it. You can do it. No, not against your circuit. 
There you go. Bang it together. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. You thinking about it? Good job. Good job, Braylon. What's in the cup? What's in there? <laughs> what time is it? You gotta eat in a little while. You want some food by mouth? You wanna eat, eat? You want mommy to heat you up some food? Let's see. Let me go heat you up some food. They gonna watch you. Y'all gonna watch Berlin while I go heat him up some food? Who's on here? Let me see. Kiana. Oh, Ray, y'all watch Brother Michael eat up his food. They're going to watch you. Mommy's going to heat up your food. What's up? Hello. So y'all, I just want to let y'all know I don't buy Braylon. Um, I don't buy him no um puree stuff. I make our own purees. Um, it's it's nothing to take whatever you're cooking yourself for dinner. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Ray, for babysitting. <laughs> it's nothing to take whatever um that you're eating and puree it. That's what I do. Like um, a couple days ago, I made his dad some oxtails with some vegetables in it, and he loved it, ate the whole pot. And it had like corn, it had corn, um, string beans, let's see, sweet peas, and then what else did I put in there? Some onions. I feel like I'm missing a vegetable. But anyways, I pureed it up for Braylon with some potatoes. It was red potatoes and white potatoes, some corn, some sweet peas, some string beans, and some gravy. And um, what else? That was it. And we pureed it up, and Braylon loves it. So I'm going to let it cool down. Look, waiting, and I'm going to feed it to him. Let me get, um, let me get your Z-Vibe. Oh, I dropped one of your attachments. I need to brush your teeth, but you're going to cry if I brush it now. I should have brushed it when I first got you up, but you went back to sleep. Ooh, I'm coming, Mr. Licking of the Lips. Looking at the looks and fingers. So Braylon know when it's time to eat. When he starts doing that right there, licking up the fingers and the lips and <laughs> sticking his tongue out and stuff, especially when he sees me eating, he'd definitely be wanting some. I'm coming. No rushy, rushy to your mama. Here, you want your Z-Vibe? You want to hold it? I'm moving because I'm blocking your TV. Go ahead. You see Mickey Mouse? I'm sorry. I ain't even a block Mickey Mouse. I ain't even think you was paying attention to the TV. So with Braylon, when I'm doing feeding with him, I'll have his Z Vive spoon, um, a baby spoon. And this is a dual spoon. It has two textures on it. It's for babies who have oral versions, which is what Braylon have. And then this is a Z-Vibe. It's vibrating and it has a spoon attachment. He has plenty other attachments that go with this. So, you want eat? You want eat, eat? Can I put this bib on you before I feed you? I know you don't like it, but you gotta have it because if not, <laughs> you look so dramatic. Really, if you don't wear it, you're gonna make a mess. This man is so dramatic. Please, sir, just for a little while and I'll take it off. Let me see. 
I know. You don't like having all this extra stuff on you. I know. Your tree, G2, circuit, bib. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Braylon, you want to eat eats? You want some food? Some yum yum? No, no, no. No, no. You got it all over your mama's socks, man. You gonna treat me right. <laughs> That's for getting it on my socks, my good Victoria's Secret socks. See? Safety. This is trait vent safety. And I did this. I did not plug up Braylon's oxygen cord from his ventilator to his oxygen machine um, compressor. This could have been a problem last night if Braylon had a, um, an incident and he was turning purple and he needed oxygen and me and his dumb ass dad would have probably cut the oxygen machine on and not realize that this is not even plugged up then we would have been trying to figure out why the boy is still purple so this the oxygen cord must always be plugged up to the oxygen concentrator that's my fault right Braylon? mommy was rushing last night trying to get you ready for bath time usually after i get him settled I do like a triple check to make sure everything is plugged in. I'm sorry, I'm taking too long. Here, I'm talking to the people, I'm sorry. You want some more? Mmm. You wanna feed it to Braylon? Good job, but but Very good boy, very good. You wanna hold it? You can hold it. Um. So yeah, usually before I go to sleep, I always make sure everything is plugged in. It's been one time I went to sleep and I forgot to plug his ventilator back up. And it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. All you hear is beep, 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 beep to let me know that the ventilator was going dead. Yep, I know. And then it was one time I forgot to plug up. See, the good thing about these things, like the important machines, like the ventilator and the, um, and all of them are important. But like the ventilator and the heart monitor, if it's going dead, it will beep loud. It will beep loud until it cuts off. But it will beep, and you can't ignore it because of how loud it is. It's like consistent, annoying beeping. So you have no choice but to get up and plug it up. And of course you want to get up and plug it up because this is like life or death if these things go dead. Right, Braylon? You want more food? Not the bowl, but the spoon. Good job, buddy. Like a big boy, you're eating it up. And with this, when I season it, I use pink halimini and sea salt. I can't say that word, but y'all know the pink salt. I use the pink sea salt. Yep, mommy's trying. Um, some black peppers. Um, I use some Tony seasoning. And what else did I put in it? Uh, some seasoning salt. Because you know what meat, certain meats, they already have enough flavor in them. So the meat itself had enough flavor. You had to put a little bit of, for the vegetables. And he loves it. He loves it. You can actually see the seasoning in this thing. That's right. You can see. You can still see the seasoning in here, and it smells good too, son. Corn. Not the bowl. You can have a spoon, but oh, he likes to put the bowl up to his mouth and like drink it like it's um, cereal. You want some more food? You want to eat? And put it in your mouth. Put it in Braylon's mouth. Oh, you thought it was on my finger? Sorry, it was not on my finger. Good job, butt butt. So yeah, he's, yes, good job. Such a big boy. Yes. He equates good job and all done and yay with clapping. So if we say yay, Braylon, he'll clap. If we say good job, Braylon, he'll clap. And if we say, are you all done, Braylon? He'll clap to let us know that he's all done. But in sign language, all done is actually this. I'm all done. I'm all done eating. I'm all done. That's all done, Braylon. But you always clap for all done. Hmm? Look, you got some dripping on your chin. <laughs> funny boy. Funny, funny boy. Funny boy. Funny, funny boy. I, 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 I. That's not the right way. Let's put it the right way. That's why this thing be going dead so fast, too. You probably be doing something to that battery sucking the juice putting your slobber on the battery mm -hmm. is it good is it good would you like more food Braylon would you like more more this is more in sign language so I asked him do you want more food do you want more to eat mm 
that he needs so that he can get comfortable with eating yes it does let me see if he'll eat from this i know like the day before yesterday me and his um occupational therapist was feeding braylon and braylon refused to eat from the spoon because it was not on you want more you want more are you thirsty would you like something to drink want your sippy cup are you thirsty? Would you like some juice? Juice is a J right by your mouth. So this is apple juice. Apple juice. Would you like apple juice or would you like water? I think he wants water instead. You want apple juice? Let me get you some water. We got ears. Say cheers. So this is his syringe. We're trying to really transition him from drinking out the syringe to only drinking out the sippy cup. But look at him reaching for the syringe and lifting his eyebrow for it. Ooh, let me dump this out. get in your high chair you're doing good sitting up come on let's turn it let's turn it there you go you got it there you go so I know like uh, about like like three to four feeds when Braylon gets into about three to four spoonfuls he like likes to take a break just like anybody else want to drink some water drink some juice to wash it down so that's what he likes to do until I ask him, are you ready to eat? You want to eat, eat? Would you like more food? You got to put this down if you want more food. You don't know what you want. You want to drink and eat at the same time? I'll wait. And the feeding process really could be um, kind of time consuming because, again, he's a baby. I got all the time in the world, but he's a baby. <laughs> um, you know, he takes little bites. And with Braylon's um, diagnosing and his condition, you got to make sure he takes small bites and that he actually swallows because he just had a swallow study done um, like uh, three weeks ago. And it's when he's swallowing, it'll stop and then go down. So Braylon can only eat but so much by mouth in a day. And we, we do it in small intervals. Like this spoon is not big. And he only gets like at the tip. Most of the time, he only gets at the tip. With a textured spoon, I cover the whole spoon because when we put it in his mouth, it kind of like catches type thing because it's textured. Um, I don't know if that's how you can really like, yeah, like textured. So I put it on the whole spoon because of the texture. So like whenever he's eating, we can slide it and feel that texture on his tongue. Can we eat now? Can we eat? Would you like more food or would you like more water? More food? Let's try food. Braylon, you got it on your hand, son. Move your, your hand back a little bit. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go, butt butts. Yay, good job, Braylon. Yay, butt butts. Butt butts is his nickname that I call him. And then, like, the family call him the prince or mumbo jumbo big old mumbo jumbo mumbo mumbo jumbo mumbo jumbo Braylon. that's granny call him mumbo jumbo mumbo mumbo jumbo mumbo jumbo Braylon. you want to eat eat you gonna bend your spoon 
<laughs> Why you stop playing and look up at them? <laughs> Can I go finish cleaning your bookshelf off? That's what I was doing, organizing your books. Because you got a new book yesterday. And you're getting some DVDs coming in the mail, some sign language DVDs. So I have to organize your bookshelf for your DVD. Ooh, excuse you, for your sign language DVDs. And I'm probably going to get you a DVD player. Because we don't have no DVD player because we don't be watching no DVDs. But we got we got DVDs and no DVD player. But we don't watch DVDs because we got a TV. A smart TV that has everything on it, really. You see what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying, huh? Let me suction you. Nasty, nasty boy. No, no, no. No, 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 Mr. Breland. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't tell me yes when I say no. Yes, right. Say no. Say no, no, no. Say no, no, no. Not yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Let me say no, 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 no. no. He can't do no, no like this, so he do it like this. And that also means gimme, gimme, but when I'm talking, I know what he's saying. He's saying no and not gimme. If he was saying gimme, 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 Brandon. Usually he says gimme, gimme when he wants something. Or if I'm walking out the room and he want me to come back, he'll say, hey, girl, come back. Hey, girl. <laughs> he'll say, hey, girl, come back. Don't do that, Brandon. That's disrespectful. Would you like some more water? really my enjoyment of the day. Just playing with him. Seeing him home is an enjoyment. Waking up to Brilliant being home is an enjoyment. Um, I meet every morning when he wakes up. I just hug him and tell him I love him because I'm just so happy that he's home. Um, this was our first summer having Brilliant home. So last summer Brilliant was still in the hospital. So this summer I'm very happy and we made it the whole summer. We didn't get to do anything that I went to do. Like I'm um, go see the animals, go to the zoo all that stuff but it's cool it's cool we'll be able to do it next year right oh, look at that face baby you got food all on it um what else really this summer i mean the past three months Brilliant has really grown and developed i mean he can sit up by himself he knows how to grab stuff i mean when Brilliant came home the first two to three months Brilliant was like just laying in the bed laying with me laying 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 like he was he didn't he was playing while laying down like now that he can play and sit up it's just i mean just him turning his head is a blessing like everything that Brilliant do is a blessing to me so i'm just really grateful for him like a hundred percent right but but would you like to eat some more would you like more no are you done eating yes you want to feed yourself put it in your mouth put it in your mouth Put it in your mouth. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You got it all over the place. Mommy got to wash this blanket. No, no, no. No, no, no. I said no, no, no. Don't say yes. Don't say yes. <laughs> what? You got, you got food all over the place. You got gravy all over the place. That's what it looks like, gravy all over the place you know that yes you do you want some more water or you want juice oh gosh son. we gotta clean up this room man take this up this is the attachment head so i'm gonna take the attachment head off and then i'm gonna go clean it Ugh, very icky icky nasty Ugh. This is the Z vibe. Like I said, it vibrates. Um, it's for kids who have like oral aversions, who don't like nothing by mouth. So uh, this really helped Braylon get comfortable with things coming by his mouth. And it's called a Z vibe. Yeah, it's it's the vibe. The Z vibe is the vibe. <laughs> what? Hmm? What? Hmm? What, Brilla? <laughs> what? 
What? <laughs> you looking at yourself in the mirror and then looking back at the phone? Oh, I thought I saw somebody I didn't like named just now, but I said, oh, this girl must be unblocked me. Okay, say bye. Say see you later. Say bye, everybody. Braylon, say, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> say see you later. Say bye. Tell everybody bye. Say bye. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to me and Braylon's YouTube channel. Y'all, Braylon is telling y'all bye. He said bye. Y'all should y'all should really feel special because when his dad walked up out of here and his daddy was like, bye, Brillin, see you when I get out. Brillin ignored, bruh. Straight ignore, bruh. So y'all should be happy that my baby is telling y'all bye. All right, but thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's called Brillin and Mom. Please subscribe. You can see all the other videos. And then later on, I will probably be uploading some videos basically talking about trick safety, um, like... Safe, like just what's safe in your house for like a trick baby taking care of a baby with tricks and g-tubes like everything trick baby i'll be talking about right my little trick baby right right my little trick baby say bye <laughs> he's like i said bye enough today mom bye y'all